Fellow greetings. Bit of an odd way to start, but it happens from time to time on the servers. Whenever you play like a, a normal game offline, that server ends as soon as you log out from it. Here, the server just continues on and on and on. And it can experience some really weird glitches sometimes. Some of the ones we've had where all of the oxygen just disappears for no reason. So if you've got tanks full of oxygen and you're just good and happy, you jump into that cryo chamber, take a nap, and boom, all the oxygen's gone. And then your character dies. It really just means you lose the tools that you had on you, but not the worst thing that could happen to us. You can also use this opportunity to do a bit of higher altitude scouting, but mostly what I'm looking for are the polar caps in relation to my base. And because of the way the sun passes overhead, I might be fairly equatorial. And that's what it looks like from here. This whole way I've traveled, I haven't seen any ice passing by. And we can change the state of this battery. Assuming it's even online. It's on auto. So it just depleted is all. And that's why we died. So let's go ahead and try to tap some of that cobalt that we know exists over here. So we want some of this cobalt over here. We can we can see it where we're at, but what we want to do is we want to get rid of this cliff here that we've created for ourselves. I really don't want that much nickel either. And I don't want to do a whole lot of mass removing of material because I want all this iron. Once I connect my rover back up to the base, the base should have some power. It'll give me enough power so that I can transfer everything. What I should be doing next is getting ice. And that way I can continue operations at night. As soon as I get to that cobalt, I will make a pass at the ice. Let's go and get some ice. Ugh, I really don't like this terrain. We cannot see anything with those drills in that position. Mm, looks like I've fallen in. Yeah. So knowing all of this, I'm going to need a much nicer way back. Let's see... I cannot roll this anymore. Just kind of manipulate my rover to get these wheels down. As long as these wheels are making contact, we should be pretty decent as far as our safety margin. Oh, let's go up. Just need them to land. Had a little hydrogen thruster that might help out quite a bit too. Settle here at the bottom. Dry it out. If I had a little hydrogen thruster pushing me against the ground, that could help too. Because this little bit was nasty. Drills all the way up. Good, I can reverse now. As soon as they start to remove, right about there. That didn't take a whole lot at all. That's a nice, gentle grade. Nice, gentle grade down. Actually, that's already too steep. Come back, because as soon as I enter that, I need these drills to go up. Okay. 
you know, they, they're removing from even at that location. We'll see. Okay. As long as we have a nice shallow descent, we should be okay. There's our ice target down here. We can see as we are continuing to drop, getting all lined up pretty decently with that ice. Take a look at that grade behind us. That looks pretty nice. Not even pushing forward on my wheels. I'm just coasting with the grade that we've created on this entrance. Oh, there's some ice. That's what I want. All right. So our base is a kilometer in that direction, and now we are super heavy with ore. Let's go. Try this route. Now the way I came from was very treacherous. could soften the suspension a bit. That might help stop the bouncing. Let's turn over. Up this way. Mm-hmm. See you trying to connect into the server? Good, good. Got my tires back. It's always disturbing to see the vehicle, even if it's just the tires, but part of it start to sink into these voxels. Oh, this is a death canyon. I wasn't going fast enough. Don't crash, buddy. There we go. We have enough gyro to right. Let's see if we can get up. We do not, but we have another tool for up. really off kilter here. Let's see just how far down we're looking. Ugh. Go, go, go! Yes! Now we're leveling out, but we're still at a really weird angle there. But I'm through the mountain. That's the good part. Our suspension should be a little softer now, so it means the, the wheel should compress in there. And that's another big opening to fall into. There we go. The wheels absorb some of that so we don't go bouncing everywhere. Lunar outpost. Now the question is, do we drive up or how to get there? Yeah, our worry is that this elevation is just that much higher, and it is. So there's no way I'm going to be able to drill that nicely. What did we have over here? And go up on that edge, and I will. Moving our outpost straight ahead. And we are in sun right now, so the base has enough power to start doing its thing. And that's going to be a continuous problem. And then I'm going to have to sacrifice all of this hydrogen. This way I can just have enough power to keep operating. Let's place down our tank. 
hydrogen tank. Just a small boy. Actually, let's do you and you. That way I can process through hydrogen a fair bit faster. So we don't want these reactors, we want this hydrogen engine. You can see it's got a port on one side and then a port in the face. So we don't want that face port. We can set you right here. We need a steel plate first. Let's take that. Make sure we're nice and aligned. Give, there. Give me steel plate, I say. There we go, it misaligned again, and we should be set now. That sounded like this guy's ship was stuck and he couldn't do anything with it. So if you can't do anything like converting it to ship and station back and forth, try to do a couple other little things, you can always contact the server admins and they should be able to help you out. May not always be immediately, but at least they can get something going for you. Grab our hydrogen thrusters. All right. We don't want these big boys. That's a little too much for us. We don't think this will work because hydrogen shouldn't be able to pass through there. Okay. Well, I guess that uh, answers that question then. It does work. And if I hit C, yep, yeah, good thrust. fly. Looks like I can turn this off because I want to save that little bit of hydrogen I do have. Let's go take a look at gold and silver. Give that away. Now this is a big empty crater over here so I'll start by heading out this direction. I can get some air. A look at that. Ooh, wheels. Ooh, nailed it. I want to go over here. Yeah. See that dip down just a tiny bit? Well, let's, let's use that initiative. That should be pretty decent. So now let's pull it all the way up. I'm gonna use this to keep us going down. It doesn't take much to start. I just don't want it to go too steep. I don't want to go too fast or I'm gonna roll over it. There we go. Let me get back to it. Start our gold mine ramp. We hit any of the silver, I would want to collect that too. I want to just plow through it. I'm going to need it for gravity components and medical components. Uh, a couple other things. I'm pretty sure they're used in the jump drive. I think it has a couple gravity components in there. But mostly we're going to need a buttload of gold because that's what superconductors are made out of. And in order to maximize it, our first things that we make out of it will be superconductors for yield modules on our refinery. And with yield modules on the refinery, we can get more out of the ore we stick into it. And I, I usually run yield modules on not just the, uh, the initial stuff that I build, but the later game stuff too. I just don't want to have to make all these extra trips. And I typically don't care much about the power issues. Typically, as soon as I get off world, I'll go make 
finding uranium a priority. Oh, that's gold. That's good. Give me all this beautiful gold. Make sure we're not ejecting it. Stone coming out. Stone coming out. So that's good. These gold nodes tend to be less circular and more like off angle stripes. So they're not level with the horizon or anything. They're just kind of all over the place. At least on moons and planets that I've seen. Everything in an asteroid tends to be more or less just like a spherical shape. I can make mining on moons and planets a bit of a tricky situation if you're using a rover. I'm just doing this to make things hard on myself. Not something I do too often. And this was a nice incline here. I'm not having any problems driving out. Very good to see. Where is our base? Not in this direction, is it? Our outpost. I would like to try lunar bounce. Holding X will compress my suspension. I get myself a bit of a start. Try to spring up. Ooh, yeah. Got some big ups. It's good. And I can use my thrusters to stop my ascents. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we're heavy. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so as I said previously, we want our assembler to build us some yield. One, two, three, four yield modules. It's mostly this gold that we need and the superconductors. So we can go over here to our refinery and make sure that we've got it all. It's good there. Here, and I want a yield module which we should have access to after we've built the large refinery. And also put speed modules on that assembler. And I very well may. And that'll just make it go faster. There's no point in putting yield modules on the assembler because that's not how it works. You will only increase the speed or the power efficiency for them. Yield only works for the, for the refineries, not for any of the other things you can't get more out of it. You're gonna need another friend here soon because when you start doing gold and silver and a couple other things, it can take a minute to chew through all of this. Take that. Let's go there and come over here. Okay. Assembler. This assembler will get or speed modules on it. And this other refinery can have yield modules on it. You should be able to work off of this too. Production, you're gonna get assembler two, you will get co-op mode, so you should start getting things from the other one. Let's look at our main we want computers. Another 160 computers. That way we get computers printing and you can be working that job too. And while we're getting those, faster.
Manchester. Well, someone just posted a GPS in the chat. It comes up automatically in your HUD down here. Let's see. Freeport. I think it's over there at Europa. I think that's uh, Space Funks. And I like to turn this into a bit of a nicer area, which means I'll have to rearrange everything I've got here. Well, it's not a super high priority. But it is something I want to keep in mind. In the meantime, I can go and fetch another load of gold just beyond this crater. We can not fall in this doom hole. Be nice. I guess we're just gonna go right here. What is this? Nickel. Ooh, platinum. That's beautiful. Nickel and platinum. Prosperous crater. I'm gonna ore detector crank you up. But I suspected that you weren't super hot on that. Uh, I don't want to be under you. Oh man, you're dumping out so much stuff right here. That's not good. You should really back out. Kick it all forward. Need all that stuff to kind of disappear. Want the gold. Oh, are you kicking out gold? I. This is a gold ore. What is your problem? No. That's gold. Who's kicking out gold over here? I think that was nearly as good as the first jump. Nope. Spring. Oh, we're not going to make it. Uh, go, go, go. There we go. Forward thrust and some downward thrust to get a grip. Very nice. You'd be more efficient, you'd be more efficient. And now you can be more efficient. Good. One of the things I'll want to get away from here will be a jump drive. Since I've got that gold locked down, Assembler Master, build for me a jump drive. Cobalt, nickel silicon. I will need more cobalt for sure. For sure. And I happen to know where it's at. what I expected. I bet I can fly a bit more than I've been thinking I have. The hydrogen thrusters have only been being powered by what the H2O2 generator can output 
not the actual little tanks I've got on there, because they've been on stockpile this whole time. I'm curious on whether or not I can actually fly in this configuration. I might want to try that. All right, with plenty of resources in tow, I've hit a cap where my industry isn't keeping up with my ability to gather. So while I wait for the refineries to process and my assemblers to build, I'm going to do a little bit of decorating around here. Not working on the primary base, just something to jazz up this little mine here. My intent is to make this a bit of a point of interest once I'm gone. Because whenever you spawn as a new player, you should spawn somewhat near other players. Which means someone should stumble upon this sooner or later. Until next time, go forth and build great things.